Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put in the comments below hashtag pajama. Then I know it's the first time you're hearing my voice or seeing my face and I can say hi because I like to make sure I connect with people. Social media is supposed to be about connecting and building relationships, not just about, you know, everybody collecting as many friends as they possibly can. So today is actually day 174 of the Daily Scare Share. Every day for 173 days, and today 174 days, I am doing one thing a day that scares me from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You, because my daughter found this book on my bookshelf this year, earlier this year, and said, hey, this is a cool book, which was code for her to say, mom, you're really in a rut, maybe you never need to, to do something to get out of it, and this would be a really nice way of saying, get off your derriere and do something different. So... I'd actually gotten this book back in 2014 for a friend of mine and I up at the cabin because we had started a new network marketing business. Yep, I just admitted network marketing business. And we needed to get out of our own way. We needed to stretch our comfort zone. Well, needless to say, we only used the book for about a week, week and a half, and then we quit doing it. Life got in the way. We got busy. I'm sure we had all kinds of good reasons and good excuses for not doing it, but we didn't do it. I guess the time wasn't right. Now the time is right because so far, 173 days I've done it. And I like to hop on Facebook Live and share it in case anybody else is in a little bit of a rut or needs to stretch their comfort zone or wants to work toward your goals of expanding and becoming more. Because the real secret is we only achieve as much in life as we as a human being are capable of handling. And sometimes we achieve things that we're not capable of handling, and those things disappear from our life pretty quickly. So, day 174, it's actually one of these cool sayings days, and I need my magnifying glass for this one. And it says, because you know my eyes, and I titled this one, Can't Take It Back, or Can't Get It Back. Now, if you know me or you've been following me for any amount of time at all, you know that I don't believe in the word can't. I don't think that anything is impossible. It's just a matter of like sometimes we don't want to do things and so we say we can't do them but really if we want to do something we can figure it out so normally I wouldn't say there's that you can't do anything but I do agree that these are things that you can't get back and it says four things come not back the spoken word the sped arrow time passed and a, and the neglected opportunity and this is by Omar Ibn F. Khalif I'm sorry I totally me asked his name if anybody wants to know what it is, message me below and I will type it into the comments. But basically it says, you can't take back something that you've said. So my advice is, think before you speak. A lot of times we get in a heated discussion or something or a discussion about something that we're passionate or we feel strongly about and we spew our opinion without listening to the other person and once we say something, we can't take it back. I mean, we've all gotten in arguments with people, maybe you haven't, but then you're a much better person than I, but I'll admit, I've been in heated arguments. I am divorced, so obviously I've been in heated arguments. Um, and you can't take back some of the things you say. And sometimes when we're emotionally charged, we say things that we might have meant in the heat of the moment, but a lot of times it's things we don't even really mean. It's things that we say just, you know, for effect, and we don't mean them. So you can't take those things back. Once you've said something and someone's heard it, you can't unsay it. You can't take back an arrow. You can't take back a, a speeding bullet. You can't take back any time you've used a weapon against someone, which sometimes our words are weapons. Um, or if you've sent that mean email, or if you've talked about somebody behind their back, or if you've done something to hurt another person, you can't take that back. You can't get time back. It's going to go by no matter what. We only get 24 hours in a day. If you squander any of those hours, guess what? They're just gone. They're gone from your life. They're gone from the universe. That energy is just lost. And I think that kind of goes into the neglected opportunity. So many of us get in ruts, <clears throat> me included, and we think that we're stuck. We're stuck where we are and that we keep, have to keep just staying in the same situation that we're in. But the truth is, and it's hard for a lot of us to admit, admit, admit that we always have 
other opportunities and choices. This universe, this world, our planet, America for sure, is full of unlimited opportunities. And anytime we're not taking advantage of those opportunities or being open to and looking for those opportunities, that's actually on us. And we can try to blame and make excuses for all kinds of other things, but the truth is, it's always up to us. There's always opportunities. There's always things that we can do to change our circumstances, to change what's going on with and around us. You know, unless you're caged by some monster and then, you know, that happens too, there's something that you can do. And even if you're in that situation, you can always impact the way and what you're thinking about something. So again, think about what you say. Think about what you do with respect to um, making the world a better place versus releasing arrows. Realize that you should be a little bit conscious of choosing what you do with your time and not just let it go by and just go through the motions of your life and that a neglected opportunity, we're always all surrounded with opportunities. So don't, don't make excuses and think that there's nothing you can do about anything because there's always something that you can do, even if it's just change your mind or change your perspective. So the challenge today says an opportunity I did not neglect today. So I will look for opportunities in my day today and I will not neglect them because just like everybody else, I am surrounded by lots of opportunities and infinite possibilities. And I am going to consciously take advantage of one of those opportunities today. What can you take advantage of today? What opportunity can you seize, what moment can you seize? I guess it's seize the moment, take advantage of an opportunity or um, something like that. Whatever it is, go out, make it an awesome day, move toward what it is that you want, and I will see you tomorrow with day 175 of the Daily Scare Share. Don't be scared. Bye.